they can't. They can't say stop eating sugar. Mm-hmm. And then fucking Coca Cola's gonna go. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> yeah, we That's give this, my business. We give this much money to the campaign. If someone c- came on television, like an Obama or uh, like someone who's a like a, a person that people trust, and said. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're listening to me and you got a donut in your hand, put it down, please. This is this is what's killing us. If you oh, look at photos of people be on beautiful. the beach, look at photos of people on the beach in 1970, yeah, and look at photos of the people on the beach today. Like we look gross. They they want people controllable, con- controllable consumers. Well, some factions of our society want people controllable consumers, but we are society, mm-hmm. and we don't have to accept that. And but we've if you accepted fight against it so it. long, but you don't have to fight against it. You just have to you just have to not ever participate in it, mm-hmm. and you have to make sure that everybody knows what it is and make it change the way it behaves because it's not legal anymore because it's not it's it, it's not accepted. You have to figure out a way. Like, if you want to release a medication, you you well, you have to have access to the actual data, not the data as interpreted by the scientists that have made it. And that's right. one of the things that we learned about the the whole process of peer review when it comes to a lot of these pharmaceutical drugs. That's how mm-hmm. they sneak them in because they they make a whole bunch of studies. Yeah, and they just gear the study to make sure that they get the results they want, and that's the one they release. And all the ones that show that it does harm, they get rid of those studies. Yeah. And they bury them. We don't have access to right. it. That's crazy. I and the know. only way that that's possible is through corruption. Mm-hmm. The only way that's possible is through money. Because if we're really concerned about the, the, the human beings that are having to take this medication, there should be a completely independent body that does yeah. all these examinations. Third, third party, I mean. But I mean completely independent. Don't meaning, you do it with your supplements? Yes, the double we blind study. We well, not just that. We actually sent them off to third party. We, we had to do that because we found out early on when we were making Alpha Brain uh, that when we would make our supplements, whether it was Alpha Brain or Shroom Tech Sport, I forget which one it was, but we had sent it out, and then we did a third party study. We found vitamins that were in there that weren't in the original formula, and it was just trace amounts. And we realized that they were using the same bins mm. for alpha brain that they maybe were using for like vitamin B12 or f- this and that. So you're getting like contaminated stuff. So you have yeah. to realize, okay, well now we're dealing with a, a r- irreparable vendor, vendor. They're not doing the right thing. So now we have to switch, switch people that make it. Or not vendor, manufacturer. So we have to sw- switch manufacturers. Yeah. So we had to do that. And we had to, we had, it was a, like a trial and error thing. We have to realize that. But so if you're that committed for supplements. Yeah. More committed than for medicine? It's crazy. It's what well, we did it because we wanted to know. Like yeah. in the beginning, like a lot of people were saying that like alpha brain was snake oil. And, mm-hmm. and I was like, listen, we should fund a study. We should fund a study. So we, we funded a study for the Boston Center of Memory. We did a pilot study and then we did another study. And it showed all sorts of positive increases in verbal memory. It's uh, alpha flow state, uh, reaction time. There was good solid data that showed in actually like half the dose that I take. When I take Alpha Brain, there was positive results, and so that was very reassuring because I'm like, I can't, I don't believe this is a placebo. Yeah, because it works too well, and there's too yeah. much anecdotal evidence. There's too much evidence about some of the ingredients, and when you put them together synergistically, it only makes sense that it would work better. And it does. That's beautiful. I just yeah. want that same type of commitment. But the thing is, the FDA, to medicine. See, with like the thing is, the FDA with supplements, it's just kind of squirrely. You don't have to do that. It's real squ- squir- supplements are squirrely. You know, because you there's not a lot of regulation when it comes to like vitamin supplements. Mm-hmm. Part of me thinks that's good because mm-hmm. there's companies like Pure Encapsulations, right, which has a phenomenal reputation. They make the best stuff. They make and so when I see Pure Encapsulations that sells whatever various supplements, I I tend to lean towards buying them because I know that's a really great brand. But you can buy some shady shit that's made somewhere that has like half the efficacy. Like, uh, I know some guys who did some uh, third-party tests on some supplements, and they found it was like 25% what it was supposed to be in terms mm-hmm. of dosage and 25% of, um, you know, uh, active ingredients. So it's like you got to get it from people that you trust, but the problem is along the way people are going to get fucked, and right. people do. And it happens with UFC fighters. They get tainted supplements. Yeah. It happens all the time, or mm-hmm. it used to happen all the time. The guys became more careful. But if you go to USADA's website, yeah. when they show for the athletes, they have a list of supplements that you should avoid mm. because <clears throat> they've been determined to have uh, illegal uh, substances. It's a fucking shitload. Yeah. This is, how many of them are on the USADA website? It was a shitload, right? 
It was yeah. like just label after label after yeah. label. Like so it's I said, unregulated. I just want that same yeah. <laughs> same level of testing for what they're pushing to society. Well, they should want to do it. Just you like think? we wanted to do it for Alpha Brain. But the problem is if they wanted to do it and they have all this money invested in it and mm -hmm. it turns out that that thing is not as effective as they've been advertising, what do they do now? Well, what we think they do is they fund studies that make it look like it's more effective than it is or they gear the study to make it look like it's more effective than it is in a, in a very particular way and then they release that and then they come up with a justification and that's what they did with Vioxx and there's a paper trail you can you could see how they coordinated this and how they knew they even said we know there's gonna be people are gonna have some problems but we're gonna do very well with this yeah which is a crazy thing to say when you're talking it's about people's model. lives. It's a business model. But it's what that business is. If you're in the business of being a vampire, and I'm like, why aren't you growing flowers? Because he's a <laughs> fucking vampire. Like yeah. wolves are in the business of being wolves. Right. And those CEOs that are just in the business of making the most money possible, when they get access to the kind of loot that they made during the pandemic, yeah. they're addicted to that now. That's mm -hmm. the new thing. Wasn't there like, wasn't it something crazy like 40 new billionaires yeah. were made during the pandemic? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. They, they were balling. They're balling. So that's their business. That's yeah. what they do. They're going to continue doing what they do if you allow them to do it that way. Right. It doesn't mean they shouldn't be in business. Of course they should be in business. They make dick pills. Yeah. They make all kinds of good stuff. They make diabetes medication. I love dick pills. Pandemic creates new billionaires every 30 hours. Now yeah. a million people could fall into extreme poverty at the same rate mm -hmm. in 2022. Yeah. Whoa. 573 people became a billionaire. It says. Whoa. Oh, uh, I thought they were just talking about the United States. Is that the world in the yeah. world? I don't know. That can't be in the United States. We have 573 billionaires. Jeez. Probably the world, I guess. They, yeah, they might come after us if that's true. <laughs>